Greetings and welcome to the first installment of Surviving Southside Chicago with yours truly, the Frugal Face Mask. Bear with me, because I almost didn't put a video of today. But if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. Do you like to save money? Who doesn't like to save money? Have you heard BS about Chirac? Who hasn't? Do you like talking shit? Well, too bad, because it's my channel. Just kidding. I want to know your mind, too. I'm tired of all the hate and the evil. Before I die, I want to share what I have. Alright? So when my boys grow up, right now they're 20, 20, and 18. They ain't grown up yet. They can still learn from me when I'm gone. You know, when you're a teenager, you ain't trying to listen to your parents. I wasn't. Till I got out in the real world. But I don't know how long I'm going to be here, but we'll get to that. I'm not well enough to write or to do certain things. I'm waiting for a disability to go through. Um, anyway, plus there's too many ignorant people in the world. Way too many that could use my help before my brain stops working. So that's what I'm doing this channel for. So uh, welcome to our channel. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the frugal face mask. And uh, obviously I have a face mask. And frugal, you will learn that I'm frugal as fuck. Yes, I'm going to swear this is not a channel for kids. Unless you're a teenager and get parents permission to listen to a bunch of swear words. But this is for 18 and older. This is not a kids channel YouTube. I'm not trying to make money anyway, but whatever. It's our channel because I'm going to ask for input from you periodically. Um, I do calligraphy too. Look at that. Can you see that? Yeah, wait. Hold on. Anyway, whatever. Uh, let's see. Next thing. Sorry, I gotta fix the little stupid mask. Alright. So, surviving Southside Chicago. Can you handle it? We're gonna be talking about saving money, staying sane, talking shit. Oh, wait, no. Taking no shit. Sorry. Can't read my own writing. It's neat, though. I don't know. Anyway, so let's start all over. We're going to be talking about saving money, staying sane, taking no shit, and speaking my brain. Can you handle it? We'll see. Alright, so... Man, can I turn the fucking page here? Shit. Alright, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I'm alone. My kids just grew up. So, for the first time in like 13 years, I'm alone. Uh, I don't live alone, though. I got some roommates. I'm disabled, physically and mentally. Um, I go to at least 15 appointments every month. Um, I'm not able to work due to doctor's orders, two different doctors. I got no team, no sound person, no video editor, no social media person, etc. So, I'll try not to promise a schedule. Except for the Frugal 59 as they come on my uh, Instagram. And Frugal Fridays, which is this. Surviving Southside Chicago. I will be here every Friday with the video. Even if it's a video just to say I couldn't make a video. Every Friday. I'm going to agree to that. That's my number one goal. So I will keep in touch and do my best. So bear with me. Um, I have many good ideas, but my body and my mind betray me, betray me. I got no staff, so, uh, the channel will get better. I'll start learning what you want and shit like that. You know, this is the beginning. So, uh, I talk lots of shit. So relax. You'll know when I'm serious, but you got to be able to joke in life too. Everyone needs an outlet and this is going to be one of mine, but I'm also going to be helping people at the same time. I know what I know, and if I don't know, I say I don't know. And I don't say I know unless I do some research. But I also can admit when I am wrong, or was wrong. And I know that I will never know everything about anything. 
and anyone that thinks they know everything. That makes you ugly. So all these bitches walking around thinking they're fine as hell, thinking they're better than somebody. Nah, bitch, that makes you a four automatically in my book. I'll fuck you, but then get the fuck out. You ain't better than nobody. Ain't nobody better than nobody. <sighs> Not just off the bat. Now, I would probably say I'm better than a rapist, but, you know, I'm just talking in general. So anyway, if you think you know everything, that makes you ugly and stupid, because you don't. No matter what it is, from uh, health care to making clothes to anything. Back in the day, they used rusty sauce to uh, cut people's legs off. Do they practice medicine like that now? No. Everything changes. Everything changes. And if you don't stay up on the times, you get left behind. Cars are not made the same. You know, if you could fix a car from the 70s, you can't fix a car now with the computers in it. So you always got to be learning. All right? The smartest people know that they are ignorant. The smartest people know that they don't know everything. All right, a little bit about me. Uh, was born in the southwest suburb of Chicago. Moved to Chicago when I was two. Uh, grew up on the southeast side of Chicago near the steel mills, projects, shit like that. I remember gunshots coming in the house when I was a kid. Uh, when we were living upstairs. Uh, fire in the house. Mm, when I was six, my dad left. We had no heat or hot water for a while. He left my mom with a lot of bills. And they didn't have that uh, thing where you can't kick people out in the winter. So, uh, yeah. Or can't turn their heat off. Yeah, so uh, we had no heat or hot water for uh, the winter time. That was fun. So I didn't grow up all la di da but I'm glad I didn't because I know how to do stuff. You know, if you're born rich with a silver spoon in your mouth, some of these people, if they lost their money, they wouldn't know how to cook ramen noodles or hot dogs. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, blah, blah, blah. High school was typical. Got made fun of for wearing my pro wings. Uh, I did have some Reebok pumps when they came out because my mom worked at the Y. I did go to summer camp and winter camp a couple of times because my mom worked at the Y. I appreciated that shit. Uh, I grew up in the days of Z Cavarici and IOU sweatshirts. That's going to come in later. We don't have time to talk about that now, but we're going to talk about these stupid brands that people spend all this stupid money on, and it's stupid because the shit's going to go away and everything's a fad. Uh, I'm totally into music. Uh, not into the radio, but I'm into hip hop, alternative, techno, ICP, juggalo stuff, hard music, freestyle. Um, anything and everything, you know, no, but no genre of music is good 100%. So if you only listen to one type of music, you're stifling yourself, you're closed minded and you're missing out. Um, I do some shoe refurbishing, look up frugal face mask footwear on Facebook and you'll see what I do. Been doing it for a few months now. Uh, I do make music, um, when I can. Some of my favorite groups, I listen to so many, but just, I wrote down a few I'm listening to right now. The Cure, D, uh, Depeche Mode, Knights of Reb, some hip-hop. I came up on KRS-One, EPMD, Eric B and Rakim. Uh, Ritz is some new shit. Check it out, R-I-T-T-Z. Twista, Black Dog from Blah, The Roots, one of my favorites. I told you I listen to ICP, psychopathic shit. I'm a juggalo. Juggalo. If you don't know, also listen to drum and bass, jungle, house music. That's what really got me into DJing. Uh, drum and bass and jungle. Uh, I'm into video games, always been. Not crazily. I don't play video games even once a week. I don't get into Fortnite or Call of Duty or any of that stupid shit. But uh, my whole life been into video games. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Atari, Debbie for uh, Game Boy, uh, PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Uh, then I got the Xbox 360, but Xbox is whack, uh, so I got a PS4. Anyway, my disabilities, oh shit, man, my joints ache, I get panic attacks, I got major depression, I got sciatica, hip problems, kidney problems, stenosis of the liver, stomach and digestive problems they haven't, uh, diagnosed yet. My balance is off, I'm getting an MRI, uh, a lot of shit. 
and it's hard for them a lot of the tests come out well it looks normal but there's some little polyps or a little something and so they're really still trying to pinpoint shit but like man i can't even stand up for half an hour unassisted and shit's hard but i can lay here and make a video or at least i'm gonna try anyway again the purpose for my kids because i i can't be writing a book or a memoir or any of that so this is gonna be me online teaching some stuff that they need to know too a little bit about me how i feel about shit and then they can check it out when i'm gone and when i'm still here and know what their dad was about some a little bit you know uh advice so they know their dad even though blah 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 facebook i don't really do facebook same thing i'm gonna put pictures that i've been taking my whole life so i can put that up for them some might end up here i don't know i don't know why i put that there so anyway uh we're gonna be talking about saving money myths about chirac uh how to navigate the city disabled uh it don't take all that much money to live we're gonna be talking about frugal shit all the time there's enough shit in the world for everybody um you know i know a lot of shit that people don't that don't mean i'm smarter than everybody i just do a lot of research I don't just listen to things right away and you know I find myself teaching people things a lot especially how to save money so you know why not just share that with the world that's what I feel like doing so it's going to start like this and it's going to turn into what we want it to because you're a part of this page too I'm new to this and again I'm alone but I'm not sure I got so much time left in this world so here we go it's just got to be what it's going to be and do what I'm going to do uh plus uh you know sometimes uh i noticed that my kids friends like when they were almost 18 a lot of them were interested in uh, a lot of stuff i had to say um and the next generation could teach you some stuff too man you know like i said you always got to be learning you know so hopefully the next generation can get some stuff out of this too uh, besides just me being an old guy saying oh well back in my day back in my day no you gotta learn about stuff man and uh the next generation we gotta give them the world in a better we gotta leave it better than we got it that's not what we're doing well that's not, i'm doing it but anyway um so yeah man just trying to help people i promise you will learn something that can make your life easier from this channel i don't care how frugal you are or whatever i will teach you something i will save you money if you follow some of the stuff i say um and that will also allow you to charge people for stuff that's easy for you to do it's like i tell my kids anything you can do for yourself you don't have to pay someone else to do so if you know how to fix your car for instance you don't got to pay the mechanic and if you know how to fix the brakes now you can charge your friend to fix his brakes well over here it costs 800 bucks i can probably do it for four so yeah i can do that for 600 so you're saving him 200 and you're making 200 so you know how to do something you don't got to pay somebody else and you can make money off of it just from learning how to do one thing man people don't like to learn anymore well that's why you got no money man that's why you got no money so uh let's see i'm falling apart man but i still am useful and i have lots to give my brain's still working so some people pay me for the stuff i'm about to teach you guys you know what i'm saying i i mean you know i get 25 percent off of what i save people you know but if i'm saving you 100 bucks you easily throw me 25 you're still saving that 75 bucks see what i'm saying so uh I'm just starting and it's just me so have patience if you want to help just offer i'll take help but be patient with me all right i got one camera it's my phone i got no lighting no pro sound no editor but i'll do my best but i will always be helpful it'll look and it'll sound okay i'll proof watch it before i post it i do take suggestions and donations i don't know how many of the comments i'll be able to read depending on how many comments there are and if they're nasty yeah well you know what you can go do but I, you know, we'll see if you know how to make an intelligent debate then we'll talk we'll debate um i'll be sharing tips and i'll be dispelling myths about the south side of chicago stupid dumb myths 
And I'll show you the real Chicago. And I'm talking the real South Side. Not the play South Side. Not, oh, I live in Naperville. I live in Chicago. No. I've lived in South Chicago, Southwest Chicago, North Side. I've lived in two of the best neighborhoods, two of the worst neighborhoods. Other than, I've been everywhere, all right? So if you like to know the real deal, because I'm always real. I'm a realist. Not optimist, not pessimist. I'm a realist. If you like to know the real deal, and you would like to save your money rather than wasting it and giving it to other people, hey, you want to waste your money? Here's my address. Just send me all your money right now. Got to get a pen, okay? No, I'm just kidding, all right? So if you want to save money rather than waste it, then I'll see you on Fridays, all right? Well, I won't see you, but you'll be able to see me. On YouTube, right here, Surviving Southside Chicago, every Friday, unless otherwise notified. Anything can happen. So, peace from the Frugal Face Mask, a.k.a. Big Trey. That's my music. We'll do that later. Just, I'm the Frugal Face Mask, and I will be here every Friday, surviving Southside Chicago with you, teaching how to save money, how to navigate. Oh, I guess I got a little bit more background. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We'll talk about that later. Video's long enough right now. So, welcome, and, uh... Okay, well, I got to give you one tip. Hold on. Here's my tip. Recycle. It's a quick, easy one. The video's too long. We'll be talking about some other stuff. But uh, why are you buying garbage bags? Little small ones. For the big cans, you got to. Because they're big. But, you know, a little garbage can like this, which came from the Dollar Tree, mind you. So, of course, it was only a dollar. Why are you going to buy garbage bags for that? Just use the ones you already have. They clog up the earth anyway, blah, 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 blah. And then, you know, tie that up, put it in a big garbage bag, and then, you know, put that where it goes. But, uh, why are you buying small garbage bags? Don't do that. Save your money. Reuse, recycle, all that stuff. Yeah, everyone knows that. The tips are going to be much, much better than that. But, uh, this first video was mostly for introduction, but I got to give you a tip every time. So, stop wasting your money on garbage bags if they're small and if you have a car you ball up a couple of these put them on the passenger side and that little thing that little pocket on the door then you have a garbage bag for your car and what I like to do is I have one bag out and all the garbage goes in that and it stays on the floor of the passenger side in the front seat so if you're in the back here put your garbage up here in the front everything so there's only one bag and it's on the floor and it's on the passenger side in the front and when you get home or to work or to mcdonald's or wherever you're going most places have a garbage can you tie it up you throw your garbage away and then when you come back to your car you take out that other bag and you start using that and don't forget to replace one so you always have a spare one or you can put them in your glove compartment and then your car's not such a mess you got garbage, but in one place, in one bag. I've seen some disgustingly messy cars. So that's a really good tip. All right, y'all. I'll see you next Friday with a proper video, a little more introduction. Stay safe. Stay frugal. Peace.